Hello and welcome. Our topic for the day is solving two linear equations in two variables with substitution. To understand the concept, let's look at some questions. The first one says solve and we're given two linear equations that is 3x minus y equals to negative 3 and x equals to negative 3y minus 1. Let's rewrite them is equals to negative 3 and x equals to negative 3y minus 1. Now from these two equations we have to find out the values of x and y. To do this we'll be using substitution method as mentioned in the concept. Now in the second equation we see that we are given a clear relationship of x in terms of y and using this we will be finding out the value of y first. That will be doing by substituting the value of x equals to negative 3y minus 1 in equation 1. So let's do it. 3 times negative 3y minus 1 minus y equals to negative 3. We have plugged the value of x as negative 3y minus 1 in equation 1. So let's solve this. We'll apply the distributive property. 3 times negative 3y plus 3 times negative 1 minus y equals to negative 3. So we have distributed 3 among both the quantities inside the parentheses. 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y. Positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus y equals to negative 3. So we'll combine the like terms which are negative 9y and y that is negative 10y minus 3 equals to negative 3. To find out the value of y, we will add 3 to both sides first and let's see what we get. Negative 3 plus 3 equals to 0, so negative 10y equals to negative 3 plus 3 is again 0. To find out the value, we divide by negative 10 on both sides is equals to 0 by negative 10 from here we arrive at the solution that y equals to 0. Now we'll be using y equals to 0 in the second equation to find out the value of x. x equals to negative 3y minus 1. From here we had, so we substitute y equals to 0 over here, x equals to negative 3 times 0 minus 1 x equals to negative 3 times 0 is a 0 minus 1 x equals to negative 1 so our final answer is negative 1 comma 0 and can be seen in option D let's try the next question solve we'll write the two equations negative 3x minus 4y equals to negative 22 x equals to negative 5y plus 22. So again in the second equation we see that we are given the value of x in terms of y. We will substitute this value over here in the first equation. So let's do negative 3 times negative 5y plus 22 minus 4y equals to negative 22 negative 3 times negative 5 is a positive 15y negative 3 times a positive 22 is negative 66 minus 4y equals to negative 22 combining the like terms we get 15y minus 4y is 11y minus 66 equals to negative 22 to find out the value of y we'll first add 66 to both sides this will make this negative 66 0 this becomes 0 11 y equals to negative 22 plus 66 is a positive 44 to find out the value of y we divide by 11 on both sides from here we get y equals to 4 We'll use the value of y equals to 4 in this equation to find out the value of x. So x equals to negative 5 times 4 
plus 22 x equals to negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20 plus 22 negative 20 plus 22 is equals to 2 so our final answer is 2 comma 4 which can be seen in option C let's do the next question solve 3x minus y equals to negative 10 and x equals to 4y minus 7 so this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 we see that we are given the value of x in terms of y in, in the second equation so we plug this in the first equation over here so 3 times 4y minus 7 minus y equals to negative 10 applying the distributive property now 3 times 4y is a 12y minus 21 3 times negative 7 is 21 minus y equals to negative 10 12y minus y is 11y minus 21 equals to negative 10 so we add 21 to both sides to make this negative 21 0 here we are 11y equals to 11 y equals to 1 so we'll be using the value y equals to 1 in the second equation to find out the value of x so x equals to 4 times 1 minus 7 this is 4 times 1 is 4 minus 7 so x equals to negative 3 so we have the value of x as negative 3 and y as 1 so our final answer can be written as negative 3 comma 1 this is the final answer and can be seen in option D I hope solving two linear equations in two variables with substitution is easy now thank you for watching and have a nice day